primary children, I'm so happy to have you with me today for some primary music time. We're going to start today with one verse of I am a child of God. Are you ready? Moms and dads, you get to sing with us today. I am a child. today is the fourth article of faith song about the first principles and ordinances of the gospel and I'm going to point to the pictures. We believe that the first principles and ordinances of the gospel are first faith in the Lord Jesus Second, repentance. Third, baptism by immersion for the remission of sins. Fourth, laying on of hands for the gift of the Holy Ghost. I hope my seniors had your eyes closed or looking at the ceiling when you do that because you know this song. And now we need to do our books of the Book of Mormon song. Juniors, we learned this last time. This one goes fast. First and second books of Nephi, Jacob, Enos, Jerome, on my words of Mormon, and Mosiah in the Book of Mormon. Alma, Helaman, third, fourth, Nephi, Mormon, Ether, and Moroni, learn the teachings of the prophets in the Book of Mormon faster than we usually do it in primary, so I hope you were able to do all of those great actions. And now one for the juniors, and I want the seniors to sing along with us. My hands, and we're doing this one without any accompaniment because there isn't a recorded version. So I'll just sing and I want you to sing along with us. Are you ready? My hands upon my head are placed upon my shoulders, on my face, at my waist and by my side. And then behind me they will hide. Then I will raise them way up high and let my fingers fly, fly, fly. Then clap, 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 and one, two, three. Just look how quiet they can be. That was very good. In our books of the Book of Mormon song, when we do this action, well, this action, <laughs> when we do this action for Enos, what does that what does that symbolize? Do you remember when we go like this? What did Enos do? Enos prayed all through the day and into the night. He had faith that Heavenly Father would listen to him, and Heavenly Father listened. And here's a picture of Enos praying, and he got into he went into the woods, into the forest to hunt some wild animals. And he prayed all day and into the night to Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father heard him and answered him. Can you think of another young man who went into the woods to pray to Heavenly Father? Can you think of who that might be? Very good. It was Joseph Smith. He also went into a grove of trees to pray to Heavenly Father. And Heavenly Father heard him and answered him. Prayer is how we speak to Heavenly Father. And when we pray in faith, he answers us. Let's sing together the song, I Pray in Faith. And this has two parts. And it starts with, I kneel to pray every day. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I kneel to pray every day. I speak to Heavenly Father. He hears and answers me when I pray in faith. That's part one. Part two says, I begin by saying, Dear Heavenly Father, I pray. 
somebody big like Enos or Joseph Smith who was a teenager to pray to Heavenly Father children can also pray to Heavenly Father and he will answer them he will answer them as well let's sing the song a child's prayer and this song also has two parts all the primary children are going to sing the first part and then we invite the moms and the dads to sing part two with us Heavenly Father Jesus said, suffer the children to come to me. We don't mean he wants them to have pain or suffering. It's an old-fashioned way of saying, bring them to me. Jesus was saying, bring the little children to me. When he says, suffer the children to come to me, bring them all because he loves the little children. And I sent to your parents a link for that song for a simplified piano version. So some of you primary children who are learning the piano there's a version that you can learn to play for your families at home. I hope you've already found that. And if not, have your moms and dads go to the primary Facebook page and find the link to that song. And I'll try to post it down below this video as well. So you can be playing it. And you know what? When we're all back together again at church, I might have some newly trained primary pianists ready to play for us. Wouldn't that be really fun? Our Come Follow Me reading this week talks about Enos and it also talks about Mormon when he was writing the Book of Mormon when he was putting all the pieces together for the Book of Mormon and it talks about how he was inspired by the Holy Ghost to add a section of scripture and he said I don't know why but the Spirit whispers to me and how does the Holy Ghost speak to us it whispers in a still small voice and what do you have to be doing to hear the whispering of the Holy Ghost you have to be very quiet and it's kind of a blessing in our world the way it is right now we have a little less noise in our lives we have a little more quiet time to be listening for the whisperings of the Holy Ghost as he speaks to us and tells us what to do and I want to share one story with you 
I meant to bring a golf ball with me. So imagine a golf ball, and some of you have heard this story, but I'm gonna tell it to you again. We have a dental practice in our family, that's our business. And here's the dental practice, and here's the parking lot, and on the other side of the parking lot is a veterinary hospital. That's where you take your animals to have if they get sick or hurt. So our office, parking lot, veterinary. And one day I drove up to the office to do my work there, and I saw lots of cars in the parking lot on our side, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna be a good person. I'm gonna park over here by the vet's office instead so there's more space for our patients. And as I pulled into that space and I stopped, the spirit whispered to me and said, don't park over here. And I said, no, 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 no. I'm gonna park here so there's more space for our patients over on this side. I'm doing a really good thing. And the spirit whispered to me and said, don't park there. And I said to the spirit, no, I'm gonna park right here because I am being such a good person. I'm giving lots of space over here for the patients to park. What a good thing I'm doing. And so I had this little fight with the Holy Ghost. If you fight with the Holy Ghost, you know who will always win? The Holy Ghost will always win. You will not win that fight. But I thought that I just won. So I parked there and I locked my car and I walked away feeling like I had done such a good thing and I beat that little whispering of the spirit. It was just being nonsense. And I went in and I did my work. Hours later, I came back out of my office, walked past where the patient's cars are, walked across the parking lot, and there was my car. And do you know what was right in the windshield of my car? A golf ball that broke my windshield to pieces because it was also run by a golf course. The Holy Ghost was whispering to me, don't park here, you're gonna get your windshield broken. I had a fight with the Holy Ghost, I lost. Now what if I had listened to the Spirit and I'd gone and parked on the patient side? The golf ball wouldn't have hit me and I probably would never have known why I needed to park here because nothing would have happened. And I would have come out and said, what was that all about? When you follow the promptings of the Holy Ghost, when you listen to the Spirit, you may not always know why, but I bear my testimony to you that if you follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit, you'll be protected, Heavenly Father will help you. You may never know the bad thing that might have happened. When you hear those whisperings, follow the whisperings of the Holy Ghost. Let's sing the, go the, the song, The Holy Ghost. Just one verse. This one just has actions, no pictures, and you know this song. When Christ was on the earth, he promised he would send the Holy Ghost to comfort us, our true eternal friend. The Holy Spirit whispers with a still small voice. He testifies of God and Christ and makes our hearts rejoice. That was beautiful. Do you remember why we do this for the Holy Ghost? Because we will have that love and protection forever if we follow the commandments of Heavenly Father and listen to those whisperings of the Holy Ghost. I am so excited for next week's church. Sadly, I won't be here with you next week because it's a really special day. It's not normal primary. Does anybody remember what next week is going to be? What is it? General Conference, that's right. And this will be a special General Conference because the prophet and the apostles will be in one special room and they will give all of their talks and the choir singing will have been in a different room. It's gonna be a very special General Conference and I'm so excited to go hear what our prophet has to say to us. I'm so grateful to have a prophet in these latter days who helps us to know what Heavenly Father would have us do. Let's sing just one verse of we thank thee, O God, for a prophet. Moms and dads, I hope everybody in your family room is joining with us. And I think the Tabernacle Choir is singing on this video, so you can pretend for a minute you're part of the Tabernacle Choir. And my primary children, you know what that means. You get to sing, not screaming, but very loud. Are you ready? We thank thee, O God, for a prophet to guide us in these latter days. We thank thee for sending the gospel to lighten our minds with its rays. We thank thee for every blessing. Thee
Now I want to sing that one verse one more time because I want us to do our primary actions with it. So I'm going to go ahead and start and see if we can scoop ahead just a little bit to the start of the first verse. Can you make that happen for us, audio person? Maybe. Okay, let's try this again. Thank thee, O oh God, for a prophet to guide us in these latter days. We thank thee for sending the gospel to about that first verse is that says we that we are blessed by thy bounteous hand can you say the word bounteous bounteous that means all giving giving us so many blessings and I know that Heavenly Father has so many blessings for us and I'm so grateful to have a prophet in these last days I'm excited to see you guys all again in two weeks when we have primary singing time back here again and I'm even more excited to see you all in person again and what a joyful reunion that would be. I hope you have a great week with your families. And I'm sorry, Sister Wilcox is getting teared up. It's because I love you all. And I miss you. And I say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.